Hi, my name is Tommy Itu. I am the leader of new technology and assessment at School 21 in London. School 21 is a five-year-old innovative four to eight in school, which specializes in three key areas, project-based learning, oracy, and well-being. Digital media plays an absolute key role in everything we do at School 21. For starters, we don't have fixed desktop computers, so it's very, very important that our teachers and students are mobile. So all our students, all 300 of them at secondary school have access, sorry, 375 of them now have access to an iPad. Um, and this iPad is invaluable. For the first time this year, we've not issued student planners. Students don't need planners anymore because we feel why to give them paper planners when they've got a calendar on their iPad, they've got access to all the apps we push to them on their iPads. We're trying to get the students to work the way us teachers would work. If I wanted you to do something, or if I wanted an appointment, I'd send you a calendar invite. It's exactly the same now. So students have their timetable as a calendar and things pop up to remind them. Now I'm going to discuss how we approach diversity with regards to technology. I work in a very diverse part of the world. It's um, in Stratford. We have different nationalities, different income brackets. As a school, what we try to do is make sure when our students step into the gate, they become one. They celebrate those differences, but that difference doesn't get in the way. And that's where technology comes in. We do have loads of in-year students, in-year applicants who come in in the middle of the year from other countries. Technology has helped us greatly integrate those students fast. For example, earlier this year, a student joined us from Romania who didn't speak a word of English. The app on her iPad helped teachers and other students communicate with her and helped her communicate with them. I mean, now she speaks with, six months later, she speaks perfectly good English, but those first few days could have been a bit more difficult were it not for that access to the technology. I think probably the most important thing is the way it breaks down barriers. And I and by breaking down barriers, children may speak different languages, but I tell you what, when it comes to technology, that's the one language they all understand each other doing. I, I've never had to teach a child how to use Snapchat. They all sort of know how to use Snapchat. And the whole concept of communication is, that's what it is. They communicate with each other with this common language called technology. And I think that's probably one of the biggest ways we're breaking, we're breaking down diversity or we're dealing with diversity in the school. Um, and also personalized assessment, personalized feedback is where technology helps us deal with diversity. Every student is different. Teachers have to give very personalized feedback. And for that feedback to work, that feedback has to be recorded. Technology allows us to give individualized, recorded, actionable feedback. So every student knows where they are at every point. Well, so if I were to evaluate my work, I'd say it's gone really well in the first year. Obviously, there are lessons we have learned from rolling out the devices. And I think the biggest lesson is for the, the importance of forward planning because it's one thing to hand devices out, it's another to think about how those devices will be used. And I think there was a bias towards handing the devices out in the first year. Now we've gone back to the drawing board and we're deciding the best way to, to, to publish apps to our students and staff, but not just publishing apps for the sake of apps. We're talking about how the apps tie in with our approaches to teaching, how it is deeply embedded. In conclusion, Digital media and learning are not two separate things. In fact, for learning to be more successful, digital media has to be stealthily embedded. It has to be deeply embedded into, into our pedagogical approach. So we cannot change pedagogies to accommodate digital media. Rather, we've got to use digital media to enhance our pedagogies.